Ever had uh, any idea that it would escalate so fast from being just a verbal argument to someone taking an ax to someone else? It's disturbing to watch. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. Tonight, exclusive cell phone video of an adult swinging an ax at a teenager. Police say the argument started over bad driving. It took a dangerous and violent turn when one of the participants grabbed the weapon. News specialist Mike Anderson live in Midvale this evening with a look at how it all started. Mike? What do you mean he wasn't there? Not this Videos say they heard loud yelling, and then about five minutes later, a man came back with an axe, and the man appears to be a bit mean business, as you'll see here in the video, as he narrowly misses hitting the teen in the head. You can see in slow motion this teenager narrowly missed what could have been a very serious injury as an axe blade comes flying over his head. There's no right to swing an axe at another person. Tony, who does not want his last name mentioned, says he and his wife first noticed yelling outside their window. Once we saw that one of the people had an object in his hand, we started recording. That man, police say, was Falan E. Silas, and that he was apparently angry at the teen because of some bad driving. During the argument, the neighbor, the suspect in this case, left, he went home, grabbed an ax, and then returned back to continue the argument with this teenager. And after that first swing, Silas continues to move at the teen, eventually swinging again. That's when police see the teen was struck in the hand. They were neighbors, and they lived right close to one another. And then the teen's friends get involved, one of them swinging an umbrella. Another manages to get the ax away from Silas. Police say neighbors broke up the fight before they arrived. We don't live in the best neighborhood, but you don't expect something like that to happen. Tony says he's just glad it's over, and that this swing didn't turn out worse. He's very lucky that he, he missed him. And Falon Silas booked here into the uh, Salt Lake County Jail on aggravated assault charges. Obviously something that went way too far. And police say, you know, if you ever see any what you think is bad or dangerous driving, you can always call them and they'll check it out. Back to you guys. That's a tough video to watch. Mike Anderson live in Midvale tonight. Thanks, Mike.